Hello, Transan fans, and welcome to Transistor Sandwich, the show where I use a conglomeration of hardware and software to whip up some tunes that you are then free to download and use in your own projects. Before we begin, I want to say thank you to Ross for hosting me on iVlog.tv and sharing that stream with my Facebook fans. And I want to say thank you to Gary and Julie with me here in the studio. They're here, right here. Say hello, Julie. Hello. Say hello, Gary. Hello. <laughs> Julie's your point person in the chats, so feel free to hit her up with comments, questions, or just to say hello, because she likes when people say hello. <laughs> Don't you, Julie? Yes. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and certainly not least, thank you to everyone in the live chat for joining us tonight as I cobble together some musical delights. So, let's get some more people in the chats. Facebook users, click a like button or go ahead and share this stream on your timeline. iVlog users, take a look under the mini cams and you'll see share buttons for Facebook and Twitter. Oh, I can hear vo uh, Ross's feed coming back at me. I'm just going to turn that. There we go. <laughs> I can hear my own, vo my own voice coming back at me too. That was a little creepy. It's different than the voices I usually hear. Now, before we begin, I have a question for everyone. Do you have a favorite quote from a movie? Or a favorite catchphrase? Throw it up in the chat and Julie will put them all together as lyrics. At the end of the show, I'm going to sing these lyrics with a completely improvised melody with the instrumental that I create tonight as the background music. So it's usually a little frightening because some of the lyrics that come up there are just a bit weird, which is, I love it. I love it. And I have, it's completely improv. I have no idea what I'm going to do. So if you're watching this, by the way, on Transan Live Replay, which is our new show on YouTube, post it in the chat down below or any other weird, wacky, or poignant phrases, for that matter. And it could make it into the next Bangers and Mash. That's what we call it, Bangers and Mashup. Or was it Bangers and Mash? It's Bangers and Mashup. Yeah. I, get, I call it Bangers and Mashup because we, I, if there's no rhythm, I usually add a rhythm, you know, some pumping drums, because I like to sing to a, a cool rhythm. And then the mash, well, that comes from just a mashup of whatever ends up in the chat room. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. Ooh, what is on the menu tonight, Julie? <gasps> I have an actual image of the menu that you can post in the chat. So if you pop that in the chat, everybody will be able to see what I'm going to be working with tonight. So on the menu tonight, we have five boom whackers. What the heck is a... Or, uh, yes, apparently in Quebec, it's boom whacker. Is the, here in, in English, it's boom whacker. In French, en français, it is boom whacker. <laughs> so that's very key note there. Uh, speaking of notes, they come in five notes. C sharp or D flat, that's, that is one note. It, it depends on what key you're playing in, uh, whether or not you call it a C sharp or a D flat. So C sharp or D flat for one. There's a D sharp or E flat for the other. It goes to F sharp and G sharp and A sharp. So we've got five notes to work with on these boom whackers. We've got the five boom whackers. All right. What else do we need? We have also in the menu a lapel mic. That would be this little bad boy right here. I had to temporarily put it on my shirt tonight because I need to pull it out because I'm going to attach it to a boom whacker and we're going to sample the boom whacker into GarageBand. Oh, that leads us to our last item on the menu. GarageBand Sampler. So let's bring up GarageBand Sampler and we'll get our sample ready. We'll get our project ready here. Oh, I see the last song that I was working on in here was Julie's Next Big Hit. So if you haven't heard that tune yet, check out our Facebook page. There's a link to it there or go to directly to soundcloud.com slash transistor sandwich. There's a link to the tune there and you can download it and use it for whatever you want or just listen to it. <laughs> That's cool too. Lots of people just put them on in their car and they crank up the bass and apparently I have a lot of good thumping bass in my tunes. So if you want to go down the road and just listen to some cool instrumental music with a thumping bass line, Transistor Sandwich is good enough for that. <laughs> um, but yeah, Julie's Next Big Hit, that was the one that uh, we did for 
Julie's birthday song, wasn't it? Was that the Julie birthday song? I think it was, yeah. Which finally launched that episode uh, on YouTube. So if you go to uh, youtube.com and search for Transistor Sandwich, because we don't have our own custom URL yet, we need to get 100 subscribers before they'll give us a custom URL. So share the YouTube around to all your friends. We'll get those 100, we'll get those 100 subscribers and we'll be able to get our own cool youtube.com slash transan. It's nice and simple. I like that one. So you can check out that new episode there. Let's go and create a new project here. How the heck do you create a new project? Oh, the plus sign. They may need to rethink the layout of the new GarageBand uh, files interface because the plus sign to create a new file is way up in the top corner underneath the battery indicator. Mm. So, uh, but you can, you can still hit it and it works. All right, so we need a sampler. So it's under the keyboard section in GarageBand if you have GarageBand on your iOS device. Uh, it's in the uh, keyboard section. Whoops, I just hit keyboard. I actually wanted the sampler. Let me go back. Let me go back and change this into... Oh, actually I did choose sampler. Oh, I think it was because it was the last thing that I did in this thing was to use a sampler. All right, my sample machine is up here. It's asking if I want to do a new sample. Why, yes. Yes, I do. But first... I need my boom whackers. <laughs> All right, this is what, uh, if you're wondering what the heck I'm talking about with the boom whacker thing, this is what the boom whacker is. It's a percussion instrument, a tuned percussion tube is what it's called. A boom whacker tuned percussion tube. This one in particular, well, let's start right at the, the lowest note. So the longer the tube is, of course, you're, the the lower the note that you're going to get. Uh, this one has been tuned to C sharp or D flat, depending on what key your song has been written in. I'm not sure what key it'll be in yet. So we have, there we go. So what I want to do is I'm going to mount the lapel mic. I'm going to clip it right onto the edge of, here, let's get a close up of this on this camera. Oh. Crap, it's auto-focused. It won't focus in on that, will it? Yeah, that one's auto-focused. Which one of these cameras doesn't auto-focus? <laughs> oh, there we go. There, I've got a close-up of the boom whacker tube. There we go. Boom whacker. There. I'll hold that up for the live cam. There you go. Boom whacker. So this is the, the lowest note, C sharp. I'm going to clip the lapel mic inside. So you're going to hear some rustling. Actually, let me just mute it momentarily. Aha, there we go. All right, so we're going to take this. We're going to clip this lapel mic right inside. Oh, isn't that interesting? You get a very cool vocal effect that way. What? That is freaking awesome. <laughs> All right, you know what? You know what this means. I'm going to have to, oh, that is awesome. We could do some cool sci-fi stuff. Maybe I could do a cool sci-fi animation on the side. Take me to your leader. <laughs> sure, why not? Um, Julie, I'm gonna have to ask you to turn that fan off because the fan is actually blowing into this thing so I can, I can hear the It's kind of neat, actually. You can probably, oh, that's much better. It's very sensitive. I'll probably have to turn the sensitivity down a little bit too. So there we go. We'll just turn the gain down a bit because when I hit it, ooh, that's very loud. I'll have to turn that down again one moment. Let's turn that down to there. There. There we go. I'm, I'm trying to speak right into the mic now. <laughs> All right, so we're going to sample this little pop. Okay, everyone must be incredibly quiet. All right, everybody on Facebook, be very quiet right now.
there. Now, what does that sound like? Whoops. <laughs> that sounds like a piano. <laughs> One moment. Let's make sure it's on the iPad. There we go. It still sounds like the piano's coming through on it. It can't be. Oh, <laughs> because, because I had the main speakers on the <laughs> digital piano turned up. There we go. So that is the first one sampled. All right, let's do... We're going to do the next note. That is so weird. As soon as you take it out, out, yes, that is how I say out. I'm from the Maritimes. Give me a break. All right, let's put this one in here. Ah, oh, different, a, a different pitch every time. Oh, I could probably do a cool, uh, I don't know. All right, I need another sample. So that sample, uh, I'm going to save that and do a new sample. All right, so we need to, let's test it first. All right, sounds good. Okay, so I'm going to sample that. Be very, very quiet. We're hunting samples. There, so we got that one. So it says it's it says it's uh, E flat. Guess what? It actually is. That's that is the E flat note that I'm playing on the keyboard. Oh, I see some people in the chat. I see Bratina, Carnell, Wilkes, and Piper Salem. Those are all really cool names. Piper Salem. I wonder if that's from like. Uh, 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 oh, the show, the show, um, oh, Orange is the New Black, because Piper's on the show. <laughs> All right, so that, that is the uh, E-flat note. Let's do a sample of another one. Wow, that is so weird. As soon as you take it out, it's just, it changes the sound so much. It's awesome. Oh, this one's a lot higher. Oh, wow. That is really a cool sound. I want to eat your brain. <laughs> I don't know. Don't robots want to eat brains? Oh, no, that's zombies. All right, let's do this new sample. All right, see how that one sounds? You know what? It just occurred to me that there's not really much point in sampling all of the tubes because I can just keep climbing up the keyboard with the different notes. What I should do is just take a sample of the lowest one. Oh, there we go. A sample of the lowest one and a sample of the highest one to use for different ranges. Um, although I don't really know how to do ranges on this thing. There are some samplers that you can get that you can actually define a, a range of notes across the keyboard. Um, and uh, so, so you can sample, uh, you can record samples that are more suited to the bottom end, samples that are more suited to the top end. Um, so I can probably work with the three samples that I have. So let me just, uh, we'll fix my mic back up. There, I saved you from all the rustling inside my shoit. My, oh, crap. Get on. Ow! <laughs> this, is, this shouldn't be this difficult. <laughs> all right, let me turn this back up. For vo oh. Apparently I have a, there we go. I have a dirty, it's either a dirty pot or a dirty connection, but I'm not going to wiggle it because it's going to hurt everybody's ears. All right, so I can move these now. That was, that was so cool when we got that weird sound effect going through those. All right. <laughs> that sounds neat, too. It's very musical. <laughs> All right. Ooh. I just unplugged my ears. Oh, where, where's the hole? Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got caught in my cable. All right, let's move those sticks out of the way. Now, we have a sample 
we have several samples that we can play with. So let's go back to my samples. So this was the first sample that I did. I like that. that. The samples turn out really nice on this, I have to admit. So this is the second sample. It is better suited to the mid-range. And then the third sample I think will work uh, nicely for the high end. Okay. Well, you know what? I just realized that I thought I was going to be limited to the uh, notes that I had to work with with the samples. That is not the case because I can play these samples anywhere I want across the keyboard. So I'm going to need a series of notes. You know what that means, Julie? I'm so sorry. I should have got you to pull up that chart. <laughs> we, had, we, we spend so much time preparing for the show. Not really. <laughs> and, and, uh, and, and I didn't prepare for this part because I didn't think I was going to be able to use it. I thought it was going to be limited to the notes that were written on the boom whackers, but by sampling it, I can play those booms anywhere I want. Wow, that's very bassy. I like that. All right, well, who have we got in the room at the moment? Well, I saw Carnell, but we already did Carnell. We did a tune called In the Key of Carnell, actually, last week. So if you want to check that out, it's, it's on SoundCloud, so you can download it or listen to it. And uh, there's also a video on YouTube. Uh, it's on Facebook, too, but go to YouTube and you'll see all of the different camera angles. I have a camera there, 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 a camera there. Oh, and a camera there. Oh, and a camera there. <laughs> How many freaking cameras do we have? Not enough. We need more. It gets really hard to edit after a while once you have so many cameras running at once. Your computer's like, that's too many streams. My computer's not even that old. <laughs> and they're not even all 1080 streams. Like uh, a couple of these cameras are just uh, like this one. It's an old Canon standard definition camera, 720 by 480, which is, you know, DVD quality, which is great because it's only going to be a small little thing down in the corner, so it works well. Um, we have Wilkes and Bratina and Carnell and Piper Salem, right. So what if we were to take Wilkes, because Wilkes has been with us forever. He needs a tune. He needs his name turned into a tune. So W, what note is W? BB? BB? You mean B flat? Yeah. <laughs> a flat does look like a B, yes. So B flat. So I. B. I is also B. All right. So a couple of. Uh, so B, somewhere between B flat and B. I'll work with it. Uh, so then there's the L. What does the L translate to? E. E. Well, that's good because B and E tend to work well together. Not break and enter, I mean the notes B and E. <laughs> break and enter never works well for anyone. Uh, so W I L K. What's K? D sharp. D sharp, really. So it's so now we've got B, B flat, E, E flat. Ooh, it's starting to sound a little creepy. <laughs> um, all right, so then E is E, of course. Uh, and S, what's S? S is also E? Holy crap, I need to come up with a better chart. <laughs> or Wilkes needs to come up with a better name. <laughs> no, that's a, it's a perfect name. Well, that's cool. So we can play between B and E. It's going to be a B and E song. This is our break and enter song. <laughs> we also have a D sharp. Oh, well, yeah, which is an E flat. <laughs> so it's basically B and E. So I'm going to kind of waffle between the B, B flat, E, E flat kind of motif. Ah, I've got something already. <laughs> Let's get a rhythm and then uh, once I've got a rhythm I can kind of create a thing to go along with it. So um, add a new track. Whew, I'm starting to sweat again. I'm going to have to get you to turn that fan back on now that we're done with the sampling. 
I'm sorry, you look so comfortable too. <laughs> oh, let me just wipe down my brow. I'm in an operating room. You gotta wipe down my brow so I know where my knife is going. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of doctor that was. <laughs> I wouldn't want him operating on me, <laughs> to be honest. All right. Uh, let us go into drum er. Drum er mode. Um, electronic. I'm good with it. Well, it, it seems like it needs an electronic drum. Um, let's see. Who have we got for electronic drummers? Dez. I'm going to go with Dez today. He's got one called Concrete Jungle, Double Vision, Drop It Low, Miami Bass. Miami Bass. Sounds like a TV show. Miami Bass. Uh, let me try it. I want to see what it sounds like. I tried to play the uh, the line. All right. Oh, thank you. Ah, I think I think I will use that. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to complexify it a little bit, though. It needs a little more variety. So there's actually a little joystick that you can grab a hold of on the display. You can you can turn down the uh, the impact of the percussion instruments. You can make it nice and soft. You know, if it's kind of quiet, you can turn it up to loud, which it doesn't change the 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 volume really. It just changes the uh, how aggressively the instruments are played. Now, if you pull it to the left, you get a more simplified pattern. You can see on the left here, it says simple. So that's a definitely a more simplified pattern. If I pull it over to the right, the pattern has a little more variety to it. A few more hits on the snare, that kind of thing. So I'm just gonna turn that down a little bit. There, it was, it was a little too much snare. So that sounds good. So let's go with that. And let's get that sampled part in there, that little sample lick. And that'll give us a starting point. So let me back that up. And... So I've got all those notes. I want to make sure that those notes lock right into the rhythm. This is an electronic song after all, so we want, uh, you know, make everything sound like uh, it's all nice and tight. So are those 16th notes? Let me see. <laughs> There, they're all locked, locked in so solid to the rhythm. Okay, so that's that's section A. It's gonna. I'm going to uh, add a little bit of a little bit of First day with my new tongue. I can't talk tonight for some reason. I don't think it had anything to do with this tequila. <laughs> it, no, it didn't really. <laughs> No. No, it really isn't. This is actually water. <laughs> I did have a couple of shots earlier. That's, a, that's all I can handle is a couple of shots. A full glass of tequila? Are you crazy? I couldn't say, <laughs> sip that like this. <laughs> wow. That would be a bit much. I all, even with a shot, I do some pretty weird looking faces. Mm. I know, eh? That would be a lot. And I would never make it through the show, I'm sure. <laughs> But wouldn't that be entertaining? Actually, there's a YouTube channel called uh, My Drunk Kitchen. Oh, actually, it's My Harto, but she has a show on there called My Drunk Kitchen. And uh, she gets together with some celebrity friends of hers, and uh, they usually have a couple of drinks as they try to make something in the kitchen. Oh, it's kind of like what I'm doing here, except my kitchen does not consist of stuff that we can eat afterwards. 
However, it does consist of stuff that you can, everybody can enjoy afterwards. So there is an end result. I am baking with electromagnetic magnetic media. <laughs> sure, we'll go with that. What I said, yes. Um, I need a new section. So let's go in, click that plus sign on the top right corner. I have section A consisting of eight bars at the moment. I'm going to duplicate that section and uh, come in and change those nodes because it starts out as that. So I was doing... Now I'm going to do... Uh, I want one of the other samples. Let's pull in the other sampler there. Go to my samples uh, because I'm playing a little higher. Yeah. So it has a, a little bit more of attack in the uh, higher notes, which is good. Ah, okay. So that's that's going to be my next my new pattern for the next section. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to do. I'll definitely have to straighten these notes up. All right, let's try that. Oh, that's, that's, too, that's too fast. Uh, one moment, I'm going to, all right, so anytime that I need to do a fast part like that, all I do is I just go in to the uh, settings of the song, whatever, depending on what machine I'm, I'm on, and uh, all I do is I just take the tempo down because I'm recording in MIDI, these are all just, it's all just note information. So I can take the tempo down so it would be something like this. So it's a much slower tempo now. Now I can tap in these notes uh, at the slower tempo and then pull it back to the, uh, the regular tempo afterwards. So let's try this. There, there was one note that I... Uh, Oh, and I can actually see it. There was no, one note that I kind of duplicated by accident, and I can actually see it in the display here. Uh, yeah, there's like a note on top of a note, so I can just get rid of that. It's just like working with a text editor. So we'll go back in here. We'll select this track now, and whoops, like that. Go into the track settings and uh, quantize those notes. Straight notes, 16th, I believe they were. We'll find out. Yep, okay, so let's pull that tempo back up to the normal tempo. So go into the tempo settings here, and we were at, uh, was it 110? I think it was 110, which is odd. It usually, start, usually starts at 120. All right, so this is what it will sound like. There. So that's, that is the line for the second section. I'm going to loop that. Now, I'm going to come back to section A right after that, a reprise of section A. So all I have to do is go into the song sections, click on section A and duplicate that. So that section A now becomes section C. So if I play all of the sections in a row here, we have a, a bit of a pattern going. starting to get some definition. So I've, uh, with those parts together, I, I believe I have enough to go on uh, for this first section. Uh, and I need everything to be paired up, so I'm going to actually duplicate section B again, because after that section C is done, it's going to want to come back to that first, uh, or that second sequence of notes. Now let me go back in here. Bring all my sections back up. 
because now it's time to play something. I need some accompaniment to go with this. So uh, let's just get some nice pads. Uh, go into... Dur, dur, dur. I was probably already there, wasn't I? Yeah, I just, I just, I just want the alchemy synth. Uh, and we'll go in here and we'll look under pads. We have some lovely pads here. Uh, an ether choir. So. Not enough attack on that choir. It sounds pretty, but um, it's a little too wispy for this tune. I like that one a lot better. That one's called Analog Silk. So if, you, if you're looking under the uh, pads in the Alchemy Synth, you'll see that one listed as Analog Silk. So. Let me go in here and see if this is something that I can use with this. I keep forgetting not to use my right hands because the, uh, the, 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 the camera that is focused on the iPad, uh, it gets blocked by my right arm. So. I think, I've, I think I've got kind of a pattern to go with it. This is actually, uh, because it's really only two chords, it's like a two chord progression song. I'm trying to come up with a way to create some chords to go along with it, and it's, it's difficult. It's difficult, it's not a, a natural song progression, it's a little different. Oh, that feels lovely. The balcony door just opened and there was a waft of cool air. <sighs> we finally got some nice uh, cool weather, which is great when you're in a studio with all of the, all of this lighting, but uh, not so great when you have guests who are cold all the time. <laughs> it's hard to keep a good balance in the uh, for the temperature in the apartment because, you know, we've got areas where there's a lot of electronics. They create a lot of heat. And then we've got areas where it's just kind of dark and quiet. And, well, you know, the living room, the sitting room, the den, as they once called it. All right, let's see if uh, I can get this part recorded in here. So this is the, the analog silk pad. <laughs>
screwed that up, but that's fine. I have enough that I can loop. <laughs> At that point, I was just grooving along. I could just go in here and loop that. And let's make sure that our notes are locking in solid. Straight. And uh, these will work just fine with eighth notes. And the pattern went a lot better than I thought it was going to. Cool, I'm digging that. You know what? I'm thinking that those samples could use a little bit of uh, a little bit of reverb, a little bit of delay, something to give them a little bit of substance so they don't sound just like I was standing here hitting boom whackers, which actually that's what I was doing. So that's fine, <laughs> you know. Uh, let me see. Sample, go into the settings, and oh yeah, there's some little bit of master effect. It already has some reverb on it, so I'm just going to add a little bit of echo. Let me just solo that part. There. There, just a little bit of echo. I'm going to do that with this other track as well, the next sample. Okay, so you turn the echo up too much and it turns into, uh, turns into a bit of an arpeggiator. And I love it. I love it. That sound, that's sounding good. All right, so we've got that. We've got our pads. <gasps> we need a bass. There's got to be some bass in here at some point. Uh, so this seems to me that this is going to require a good, a good bottom end. So let's see if we go into our alchemy synth here and pull up. Pull up, pull up uh, some basses. There we go, bass. So we've got uh, 70s, Agile, Big Hollow. Big Hollow, Big Hollow makes, uh, that sounds natural. Oh, that feels lovely. Oh, a little bit of breeze coming in there. Ooh, that's Big Hollow? What makes it hollow? <laughs> I guess they were just trying to come up with a name for it. I don't think that one's going to work for me. Blooming bass, what's this? Oh, I kind of like that actually. Okay, that one that one's a definite possibility. I was thinking something with a little more body though. Dark currents. Oh no, not that. <laughs> That's kind of neat. I like it. Hi Sue! Thank you for joining us. Dark heavy bass. Oh, alright, that's the one I want right there. Oh, I love it. I love it. It has a lot of, uh, it has a lot of body to it. All right, let's see how it sounds with the tune, though. Hey, Greg. Thanks for joining us. Too sure about the second part, but I do love that opening bass line, so I'm gonna get that in while I can.
screwed up the last part. Ah, I know that that middle part, I have a slightly different uh, bass line for that. So I like the first part. I'm going to keep that there. I'm just going to bump up to bar nine. Bar nine. We're on nine. Oh, wait, that's ten. We're on nine. There we go. <laughs> uh, bar nine. And I'm needing to do the, So, uh, crap. I forget what it was now. Do, 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 do. No, it wasn't anything like that. <laughs> Ah, that's what I want. All right, that's going to be difficult to remember. <laughs> oh, I actually did it. <laughs> And I didn't make a mistake, which is unusual. Mr. what? Mr. McGuire. Hello, Mr. McGuire. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Uh, let me see. I've got to go into this track now. If you're just joining the show, I'm doing stuff with things. And I need to do a eighth note on that. Was it eighth? It wasn't, oh, that was, <laughs> I stopped it at an interesting spot and it made the note go, <laughs> uh, yeah, not eighth. I still need 16th notes because I was doing a slightly more advanced pattern. Here. Ah, there we go. That's locking in. It's locking in. Uh, and that, that repeats there, right? Yes. Okay. So let me loop that but not quite that much because then I'm going to take that first part, copy it, paste it right about there. Paste. There we go. Let me get some of these tracks out of the way. All this modern technology is lovely but it is still just a small screen. Well it's not that small actually. <laughs> my, my last iPad was a lot smaller. And a lot less capable. I must say that the iPad, iPad Pro is definitely a very impressive piece of technology. I can't believe that they can cram this much power into a flat little device. Okay, that's grooving. That's grooving. Uh, so we've got that part, I've got that part. Um, oh, now I need another section. I'm thinking in my head, which is a great place to do it. Um, let's add another section here. Section E is where we're now at. So let's go to section E. I've got my drummer still trucking on there. And uh, maybe actually... Uh, let's do a second drummer track because I want to uh, vary, I want to add a little bit of variety to that pattern. So we had um, Dez and he was doing, was it concrete? No, it was Miami bass. So what happens if we switch it to roll deep? No, that's a completely different rhythm. I don't want it to be completely different. I just wanted to shake it up a bit. No, that's, that's, again, two different street lights. Here we go. Well, that one's not too bad. That's not too good either. <laughs> Stunt, here's one called Stuntin. Stuntin? I don't know what that means. Oh, that is definitely closer to the original pattern, though. And here's one called Trillionaire. Oh, I like that. It's a lot of interesting uh, hits to it. 
All right, so that's what it's going to switch to. Um, so I had the whole, uh, I had the whole, <laughs> I had the whole, uh, so now I want to uh, jump up to, um, kind of want to give it a next step up, a, a, a mod I want to modulate it, if you will. Figured it out. Okay. <laughs> this is all improv, people. You're, you're seeing it as it happens. I have no idea what I'm going to do ahead of time. This is just what comes out of me on a Saturday night. Well, there's other stuff that comes out of me on a Saturday night, too, but we won't go there. <laughs> uh, that's after too many tequilas. All right. Let's go back to analog. No, not the analog silk. I got to go right back to that top sample. Oh, do I have... I have two drums going at once. I did not realize that. I forgot to delete the other uh, drum track. Um, undo. I didn't want to delete the whole track. I just want to delete that part. There we go. Um, so back to my sample. I forget what it was that I had come up with now. <laughs> I'd, I got distracted by the technology. This happens when you play with a lot of uh, electro gizmos. Uh, you can get distracted by all the bells and whistles sometimes, which is why sometimes I'll actually just sit down, particularly when I'm scoring a film or something like that, I'll just sit down with the piano. And that is how all of the, the melodies all come out of the piano. I, I sit there and I watch what's happening on the screen and I just kind of play what seems to be going on emotionally with the characters or physically with the action. That was where they all stopped and looked at each other. I don't know what movie that was. <laughs> all right, so we were starting with the uh, da 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 da. Now I want to go to... Yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of where I want to go with that. All right, so let's get back to our sample then. Double click on that to bring up our sample. Uh, that, this may actually be a part for the middle sample because it needs a bit of attack. So let's go to my sample number two. Yeah, has a nicer attack. Hmm, I'm gonna try that. Oh. <laughs> I missed my cue. <laughs> okay, so this part is uh, too long. I actually only want it to be uh, an interlude, so I'm going to adjust this section down to not eight bars, but four. Four, there we go. Go back into our section here. Let's line up these notes. We'll go into our settings, our track settings under quantization. We select straight. Oh, it actually is already selected. Yay. Um, so. All right, cool. Now I need the bass line to go with that. So we'll go to our dark, heavy bass. Mm, 
That's, that's my idea. Now I'm going to see if that will actually work with it. All right, need a little bit of a, a lead in to that. I'm going to have to show all of the sections so I can get a little bit of a lead in so I can start that when it actually starts. So if you look at all sections here, we'll zoom out to all sections and we'll back that up to just before that part begins. So we're coming off of that and do it. Oops, wrong spot. Oh, I don't think it's going to work. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> so it's... Yeah, I think that I think I'll modify that a little bit. Let's just back that up. Dur, 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 dur. I'm trying to drag this thing and it's not working. There we go. <laughs> there. Yes, that will that that will work. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to record that part in. Let's just uh, zoom into that section. There we go. And arm our track. Our track is armed. We're ready to rock. Well, apparently I wasn't ready. <laughs> Try that again. Ah, I did it wrong. One more time. Close, close. I was very close. I did one note wrong. And I'm not a perfectionist, I'm just fussy. <laughs> oh crap, the first note was wrong that time. <laughs> no! There, I did it. I did it. <laughs> Thank you. I, I needed that support. <laughs> All right, so I've got that in there. Now, uh, the analog silk, of course, is going to have to follow suit. And it's probably going to do something a little more on the upper end of the... Oh, I'm going to move my pedal out of the way there. Or back in the way. <laughs> my pedal runs away from me sometimes. Some of the, this was not too bad because it's a nice, big, thick, honking pedal. Uh, but Sometimes you get those little flat square pedals that they're just made out of plastic, really. Some of them are made out of metal, but it's very light metal. And as you're playing, they have, as you're tapping on the pedal with your foot, they have a tendency to walk away. <laughs> I don't know if they're running away from me because I'm that bad, but it could be. Oh, even my pedals don't like me. <laughs> I, I push them too, I push everyone too hard. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, let's get this analog silk going here. This was... Uh... I'm not sure what I'm going to do for that yet. I'll have to listen to it a couple of times.
Ah, I figured it out. It's a, it was a, I was making it too complicated. <laughs> so it is actually going to be a much simpler part than I thought, and it's still going to have impact. So let's try this. I've got that in, and that is already quantized, so I'm good to go there. And now that I've got that, then that will need to come back around to the other sections. So now I can duplicate sections C and D, because those are the two main patterns. And so that should come around. Now, let's see what we've got here. Let me get all of this extra information out of the way so I can see just my tracks. adjusting some tracks as I go along. groovy. Ah, see that part worked. Okay, but now I need it to actually repeat right there. So that means I'm gonna to have to modify section F. Section F is actually going to have to be shorter, half the length, as a matter of fact. So section F, go in, modify that, and take it down to four bars instead of eight. Whoops, I touched it too much. And next, uh, F, right, F, so then I need E to come back in after F. So if I edit this, I can drag these sections around to the order that I want. So I've got E, F, H, and then G. All right, I think that's going to work. Let's look at these, oops. I wanna look at all sections, actually. Click on that, click. I said, we always say click. I noticed that the other day as I, as I was edit, editing the video. Did I click on the wrong thing? We're not even clicking. We're touching stuff now. <laughs> we poke our stuff. Actually, does anybody, does anybody actually still poke? Like that used to be a thing in Facebook. Who came up with the poke? Poke. <laughs> that, it used to be the worst thing ever. It was like the biggest spammy thing on Facebook. I think it's still there. Is it a, still a feature there? Have you seen it? And it's still there? Yeah, Poking. Sure. Oh my God, people still poke? I guess so. Do you get poked? Uh, I haven't been in a while. <laughs> I feel bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, back to the song. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's that's gonna work. And now, that is actually a fairly hefty segment of song, so what I'm going to do now is create a new section right at that end part. So let's add another section. We're at section L now. Oh, no, I. <laughs> I got my I and my L mixed up. All right, so there we go. And, oh crap, I've got two sets of drums in there again. Uh, let's uh, actually, let's delete this section. 
because this is going to be, this last part is going to be uh, the outro part of the song. The outro part of the song, which means I need to grab something from section A. Because the outro always has a tendency to kind of flash back to the beginning of the song. So I'm going to take the bass line from section A. So let's copy that. Let's go all the way over to section I. And we'll paste that bass line in there. So it's just going to be... Okay, so I don't, the very last note I don't need, so I'm going to go in and edit these, this sequence of notes so I can take that last note off. Delete. There, so it's just going to end on that bottom note. Awesome. And the drums actually kind of add, uh, end in a good spot. I might add a little audible effect at the end here. So let's go into, I think I went by it. No, I didn't. Uh, keyboards, uh, because it's part of the alchemy synth, and it's in, I think it's in sound effects. Yeah, yeah, my hyperspin, oh, not that one, uh, massive slam, no. Oh, pitch fall sounds cool. I haven't, I don't think I've used that for anything yet. I'm just throwing spaghetti at the wall. That, actually, that sounded like a whip, not spaghetti. <laughs> well, spaghetti could be a whip. Uh, it couldn't be a boom whacker, but it could be a whip. That's how it's, that's how it's going to end. Well, I hope anyway. Actually, I'm going to have to put like a blank section at the end of that because this, every time I do the bangers and mashup at the end, it loops back around. <laughs> so let's add a section with like, I don't know, 50 bars or something. Actually, yeah, 58 bars. We'll do a section with 58 bars at the end that has absolutely nothing in it. <laughs> Then it's, then it's not going to loop back around. There you go. Take that, garage band. All right. All sections. Let's see all sections. And show all of our tracks here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Wow. That's a lot of tunage. Oh. That's, uh, it's still got drums in there. Delete. There. That's our big empty spot at the end of the song there. That's good. And uh, we zoom in a little bit so I can see what's going on. Now, um, I didn't add any arpeggiators. Oh, no. I know. <laughs> Let's let us rectify that, shall we? Uh, Alchemy synth. Let's see. What we've it might not need arpeggiators, but uh, you know, let's see if it does. We've got one called fluid motion. It's not very fluid. Well, I guess it could be fluid. It's not fast enough. Oh, that one's kind of neat. But it, it duplicates the bottom end too much. I need something that's a little bit more mid to high range. Oh, kind of like that, except I don't like that. <laughs> oh, that one's kind of neat. Oh, there we go. No, the, the rhythmic pattern of that one is a bit off. Stardust. That could work. That's very subtle, and it's up in the upper range, so that could actually work with that. Oh yeah, I like that. Oh yeah, that 
that definitely works. All right, so let's record that. It's an easy part to do, I just hold it up. <laughs> well, several. Forgot that part was coming up. I think that's gonna work. <laughs> I think that will work out just fine. All right, I'm just gonna go into the settings, make sure all my notes are locked in place with the quantizer. And uh, eighth notes, I think. I wasn't doing anything too terribly complicated. All right, well, you know what that means? That means I have enough of a tune to sing to. It's improv time, people. All right, well. So, have we got some lyrics? Not too many, but we do. Oh, well, I'm, in that case, I'm very thankful for everyone who did contribute lyrics. So, if, uh, if you didn't get a chance to contribute lyrics this time around, uh, you can always check out the, uh, the, 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 Yeah, you understand that? Mm -hmm. Holy crap. <laughs> Uh, yeah, if you didn't get a chance to throw, uh, throw out a lyric tonight for the Bangers and Mashup, then why not check out the show on YouTube afterwards? It's called uh, Trans Am Live Replay. It's going to be posted. Uh, we're going to be trying to post these every Monday. So, you know, after tonight, we've got to render all the footage, put it all together. But usually by Monday, I can get it up on YouTube and you can check it out there. You can see all the different camera angles, see what was going on and drop us a couple of phrases in the chat down below and uh, we'll get those added to the next bangers and mashup. So, let's see. What have we got up there? All right. Bring them up on screen. I'm going to switch to the other mic. The other singing mic. Oops, I just hit my camera. <laughs> Can it see me now? All right, so this is my singing mic. So we'll turn off the lav. There we go, now it's only singing mic. I hear a lot of fan. I wonder if I should turn the fan off. <laughs> Julie agrees, I should turn the fan off. Or she doesn't really agree. She, she's just getting up because. <laughs> It'll be better for you too, Julie, because you're listening to this in headphones. <laughs> you agree, right? Now, the opening, you know what I just realized? Let me just switch, switch back for a moment here, because the opening, I need it to lead in a little bit. It just kind of jumps right into the song. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna go to section A, and I'm just going to uh, 
lead in to the song a little bit. We'll start off with a little bit of that and a little bit of that and a little bit of that. There. This is how the song is going to start. Good. Okay. I have no idea how this is going to sound. I just made a couple of adjustments and we'll see how this works out. All right. Let's go back to our, back to our singing mic. Julie's going to bring the lyrics up on screen, and here we go. Boom whackers. Oh, hold on. I didn't have all of the sections of the song, but that was a good, that was a good start, right? <laughs> Boom, whackers! <laughs> uh, hold on, let me go back into that section. Let me put the regular mic back on. Uh, I just need to adjust my uh, my opening sections here a little bit. I I went a little too crazy on my adjustments. There we go. All right. Now I'll go to all set, make sure all sections are displayed so we can hear the entire song. There we go. <laughs> Not just that first part repeated over and over. Okay. <sighs> Give this a shot. So here we go. Bangers and mashup for November 11th, 2017. Tired of these snakes on these effing planes, says Wilt. The fan is blowing on his tube. What an interesting effect, don't you think? Bratina, brains carnel. I said brains weasel. Where's the hole? Bottom and tops, bottom and tops. Tony can take any sound effect and utilize it in music. I like tequila shots. I like tequila, tequila shots tonight. Listen to it, listen to it tonight, tonight, tonight. Mr. McGuire, while you eat Bonanza, Bonanza, Sue and Gray, how do you do? How do you do? Nineteen views. But only to say hello Say hello There! <laughs> well, there we go. I was thrown for a loop when I, when I got to the, uh, when it went to the modulated section. I was like, oh crap! I gotta sing a different melody here or something. I had to modulate the, the melody a little bit, so I just kind of turned it into a little freak it. So there we have it, folks. That is the bangers and mashup for tonight. That is our tune for tonight, which we didn't really come up with a name for, did we? Uh, well, it's based on Wilkes, and it could be called in the key of Wilkes, but that's kind of just rehashing the, <laughs> the same phrase from last time. We'll, we will come up with some kind of name for it. Uh, in the meantime, let's go to the end of the show script, shall we? And, uh, oh, by the way, folks, we have a YouTube channel. Did I happen to mention that? 
<laughs> Just in case you didn't know, half of you are probably watching it on the YouTube channel right now. It's because you get to see all these cameras. If I point this way, it should work. <laughs> all these cameras. Oh, and they're down here too. So all these cameras and all these cameras. There, that should work. <laughs> Well, well, no, because I know they're on this side. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've been looking at the video over and over. <laughs> all right, well, now that we've come to the end of the show, I want to say thank you to Julie for all your hard work. Not just during the show, Julie is working on this all week long. So if you ever want to uh, drop us a phrase for the bangers and mashup or just say hello, because we all know that Julie likes to say hello. There. So you can contact her by contacting any of us on Transistor Sandwich. And uh, so she's like doing that all week long, pimping Transan on the social vibes. Oh, I want to say thank you to Gary as well. Gary is the original Transan super fan, and he comes and joins us every week in the studio to kind of sit here and be annoyed. And, <laughs> and last but not least, I want to say thank you to Ross for generously hosting Transand Live on his iVlog.tv channel. He does a show uh, every week anyway, and we just kind of mesh the two together. So it's really great that uh, not only Ross uh, hosting the show, but uh, he's part of the Stereo Dust Particles Network on iVlog.tv. So it's great that uh, the network uh, enjoys having us fill up their time slot. So, oh, but most of all, I want to say thank you to you, to our Transan fans for joining me live and spreading the love. Remember, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and now you can subscribe to my brand new YouTube channel. Share the YouTube channel with all your friends so I can break the 100 subscriber mark and we can get our own custom channel address. YouTube.com slash Transan is what I'm really hoping for. Of course, now that I've said it that many times, somebody's going to steal it. <laughs> so. Until next time, I just want to say be good to yourself, be good to each other, and have a great Saturday night. Bye, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you really did, why not hit subscribe? And if you'd like to know when the next video is posted, ring that bell for notifications. And don't forget, you can download the songs created on the show at TransistorSandwich.com, free to use in your own projects.